Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and today we're doing a room transformation. Today, my one-year-old and four-year-old are going to be sharing a room. We've been trying this out for a little while and it was time to make it official. And because of that, I wanted to give them a nice upgrade and change some things around and design everything so that it really felt like a nice cohesive space that they could both call their own. Starting off, I'm going to share with you guys a very loose tutorial on how I achieved this bubble effect on the girl's wall. Just a design I came up with off the top of my head, but I love how it turned out. After I decided how large I wanted these bubbles to be, I took half of that measurement and I created a makeshift compass from some yarn, a pencil, and a thumbtack. I just attached one end to the thumbtack, one end to the pencil. Just going to place the thumbtack into the wall and then hold the string taut until the pencil is upright and use it to trace out my circles. This technique is not difficult by any means, but it does take a little bit more concentration. If you don't hold your pencil directly upright, you will end up with some smush circles that look like oblong circles instead of an actual sphere. So it did take me a few times. I did have to erase a few things. Also wanted to note that in this clip, I am starting directly from the wall and I did later decide to move it um, a little bit out from the wall and I just started my thumbtack about six to eight inches from the corner of the room and drew my circles that way. So I just had a little bit more coverage. I'm going to be using some leftover paint from our master bedroom refresh project. I'll definitely link that in a card above for you guys to check out once you're done watching this video. But I just wanted to point out that I'm super professional over here using fingernail clippers to open that can of paint. So here's the beginning of the painting and it does require some concentration for this part as well because we are painting curves, there are no straight lines and it's mostly freehand. And you can tell where I've erased and gone back. Let me reiterate that this is very doable. It just takes a little bit more concentration. So here's an overview of everything I've pulled for the room. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna use it all. There are some new pieces, like you can see this side table. I'll talk about that in a little bit. It was such an adventure to find one. I got that yellow flower pillow at World Market and a couple of things just kind of started to come together. But the main thing was when I found this rug, I found this at Home Goods. It was on clearance for $38. It's got a beautiful fringe at the bottom and the colors were just perfect. So I've got some other items here and I'll go over that when I put them in the room. But right now I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick tidy. Here is the before shot for what we're going to be working with today. At the end of the video, I'm going to be inserting some clips before it looked like this. As you can see, our bubble treatment on the wall is taken care of, and I did have my husband hang those floating shelves because he's very good at stuff like that, and I am not. And since that was hanging above their heads, I figured it was best to leave it to the professional. So figuring out the spacing and the placement for this rug was a little bit tricky because I wanted it to feel like it was a part of the whole room, but it wasn't quite big enough to cover the entire space. So I have it over here by Mally's bed and I think it really makes sense there. I think eventually maybe we would have something in front of Della's crib, but for now I like the way that it's turning out. Mm -hmm. 
Here's that side table that I mentioned earlier and I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. It works perfectly for the space. It was fairly inexpensive. This is from Hobby Lobby and I picked it up because I could not find anything secondhand. It was my original goal to find something secondhand and redo it and I just couldn't find anything. So I decided to pick this up instead. I kept the decor pretty simple and you'll see me use this pompous grass all around the room. I actually ordered this bundle from Amazon. It came with 30 stems, I think. It was very inexpensive and I had originally used it and Della's first birthday party and now I've just been using it all around the house. I think it goes perfectly. I chose two different pieces of art, but they both have a scripture on them. They're just a little bit different, but the same in their content. And I just love this, adding in those little reminders. I know when my kids get older, they will have to decide for themselves what they believe, but it's my job at this age to just let them know what we believe. The scripture over Mally's bed says that she is fearfully and wonderfully made, which means it was such a big deal when she was created. And the one over Della's says, God is with me always. And I just think these are beautiful reminders, especially to be kept right there in their rooms. I kept this corner super functional. I'm adding a basket here so I can put Della's wipes and diapers inside. We don't use a changing table. She's fine just changing her on the bed or the floor, whatever works. And I've just got some cute little poppies in a vase and it's on top of a book I had when I was a kid. And I threw her pasties in that wooden bowl because necessity. I'm keeping Mally's bed super simple. This is just a white ruffle sheet set that I picked up from TJ Maxx. It was only $15. And I'm just gonna add a colorful blanket that goes with the space and a cute little pillow that she picked out. This is that convertible bed from Ikea. I can link it below. And we really love this. It's come in handy for two of our kids now. Over in Della's crib, I'm placing this pillow that I picked up at Home Goods that really coordinates perfectly. And just her favorite little cuddle and kind doll. And I have this blanket that is originally what inspired this space. I picked this up at Home Goods as well. It was very inexpensive. And I'm just gonna drape it over the side. She does use this blanket to sleep. She does use this pillow to sleep as well. Don't come at me, she's a toddler, she's fine. Could not get over this new laundry hamper that I found. It's a little bit pricier than I would normally pay. It was $30, but it is so beautiful and I think it will grow with them. Another small thing that makes a really big impact is just changing out the knobs on your furniture. This is the Ikea Hemnes dresser and we just added these knobs from Hobby Lobby that really instill that boho vibe. So 
I'm only adding in a few things to this space over the dresser. Originally the girl's TV was there, so it's totally new to decorate. I'm adding this lamp that I've had for quite some time. It was a DIY that I sanded down that I picked up at Goodwill. I love using lamps in bedrooms, especially because it just sets that cozy vibe when you're not using overhead lighting. I also use that large piece of art to cover up the intercom box. It's not something we use in our home, but it's also not something I wanted to rip out of the wall. So I'm just using that to cover it up. And then of course, I'm using more of that pompous grass and actually that little vase I just picked up at the Target dollar spot. So here's a quick reminder of what this room looked like originally before we designed anything. It had a mismatch of items, everything was well loved, and it just needed a refresh. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this room transformation video. It definitely made all of my little girl dreams come true. I would have loved to have had a room like this when I was Mally and Della's age. I hope that you guys will subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will catch you all in my next one. Golden, golden